Once you have removed the existing dock lock gear motor, simply insert a 2x4 or equivalent underneath the rotating hook that is free. With your new dock lock gear motor, route the cable cord through behind the limit switch mounting plate. Position the gear motor, line up the sprocket of the gear motor to the chain. At this point, we want to make sure that we've got good alignment of the two initially and that the chain has about a quarter inch of slack in it. Holding down the front side of the dock lock gear motor, start the front bolts. Start all four bolts, actually, underneath the unit. Don't tighten them too tight at this point, just get them snug enough where they'll hold the motor from tipping. While tightening, we want to make sure that the gear motor sprocket is properly lined up to the chain sprocket. Then we're going to get our torque wrench to 105 inch pounds. Torque the bolts in the pattern shown in the owner's manual. Going from the front right to the left rear, to the right rear, to the front left. And we're going to check our chain tension. At this point, we should have about a quarter inch of play in the front. Once we remove the wood block, double check it again. Shouldn't have changed, it should be tight in the rear and about a quarter inch of play in the front. After this, simply re hook up your motor cords. Once that's plugged back in, Place your motor cover and test the dock lock.